here we are going to talk about the different type of therapy for nursing care, particularly psychiatric mental health nursing care. The first one talking about the milieu therapy. So the milieu referred to the physical and social environment in which an individual is receiving the treatment. Safety is the most important priority in managing the milieu and all encounter with the client have the goal of being the therapeutic. So make it short. In milieu therapy, we are just figuring going, we are we are going to figure out what are the goals and what are the key concepts. The milieu is referred to the environmental and milieu therapy aims to structure the physical environment to bring about the beneficial change to an individual mental health and behavior. What are the goal of milieu therapy? The maintains a therapeutic environment and educate or teach the client beneficial Co beneficial or coping relationship and interactive skill that can be applied to their daily lives. Also promote and maintain the client autonomy. What are the key component of milieu therapy? Definitely um, validation, structural direction or interaction, open communication, and con uh, continue, uh, commitment, right? So let me read it. All member of the treatment team contribute to the planning and functioning to the milieu and can significant and valuable to the client successful treatment outcomes. The team generally include a registered nurse, social worker, exercise therapist, recreational therapist, psychologist, psychiatrist. So psychiatrist is a doctor basically, mental health doctor. Psychologist who is specialized to psychotherapy or psychology, occupational therapist and clinical nurse specialist or nurse practitioner. Community meeting or activities groups, social skill group and physical exercise program are included to accomplish the treatment goal. So one-to-one -one relationship are used to examine the client behavior, feelings, and interaction within the context of therapeutic group activities. The focus of milieu therapy is to empower the client through the involvement in setting his or her own goals and to develop the purposeful relationship with the staff to assist in meeting these goals. Interpersonal psychotherapy. So the treatment modalities that uses a therapeutic relationship to modify the client feelings, attitude, and behavior, and work within a agreed upon time frame to help them meet the client goal. Therapeutic communication forms the foundations of therapist client relationship and the this relationship is used as a way for the client to examine other relationship 
in his or her life. So we are talking about the psychiatry, mental health, nursing. So as a psychiatry health, mental health, nursing, or as a RN or nurse practitioner, we provide for the safety and security to the client, along with providing privacy when possible. We have to keep it in mind. And we are talking about the psychiatry. So validation is important. Means place the emphasis on the client worth and dignity. Structural interaction is important. Means allowing the client to interact with others in a meaningful way. And open com uh, communication means courage the purposeful self, disclosing by the client with the staff. What else? Supportive level of psychotherapy, brief therapy, or way to extend over a period of years, allowing the client to express the feelings, explore alternatives, and make decision in a self and caring environment. No plan exists to introduce the new method of coping. Instead, the therapist reinforced the client existing coping mechanism. Interpersonal psychotherapy, re-education level of psycho, the client explore alternatives in a plan, systemic way, and this requires a longer period of therapy than supportive therapy. The client agree upon a specific desire Des, uh, desire change or behavior and learning new way of perceiving and behaving. Techniques may include short-term psychotherapy and reality therapy, cognitive restructuring, restricting or behavioral modification and development of coping skill. So reconstructive level of psychotherapy. So first of all, remove uh, emotional and cognitive restrictive and self take places. Positive outcome include a greater understanding of self and others, other emotional freedom and development of potential ability is important. Before to go behavioral therapy, I want to add one more. This is called relaxation and relaxation techniques. So in case if patient has under anxiety or stress, we tell them to go for relaxation therapy. But during this technique, we have to monitor the progressive relaxation technique. It means like educate your patient about the lightening or relax of muscle growth to release the stress and tension. Biofeedback means use a device to monitor the vital sign with a goal of obtaining voluntary control over time, over uh, them. Also some medication can help, like mind and body product pro, um, practice, ho, ho, I mean, where an individual focus on a word or sensation, like breathing to improve health and well-being. Sometimes it is called deep breathing technique or self-hypnosis 
योगा और टाइचाई सो लेट मी टॉक अबाउट दैट बिहेवियर दैट फर्स्ट ए ट्रीटमेंट अप्रोच दैट यूजेस द प्रिंसिपल ऑफ ओपरेंट कंडीशनल्स और क्लासिकल कंडीशनल behavioral therapy to brings about behavioral change belief is the most behavioral ally so in this piece or powerpoint presentation we are going to talk behavioral therapy particularly different kind of like i said operant modeling aversion systemic and desensitization behavioral therapy so next first one is called operant conditional so behavioral therapy it is interventional used to decrease or eliminate the maladaptive behavior this is the goal basically operant conditioning means the positive reinforcement of desired behavior right let me read it refer to manipulation of selected reinforce to elicit and strengthen desired behavior responses the reinforcer refer to consequence of behavior which is defined as anything that increase the occurrence of behavior in classical conditioning the individual responds to a stimuli but is basically a passive agent now behavioral therapy continue respond vs operant conditions respond conditions like stimuli and operant condition means re active agents of re in forcing agents behavioral therapy desensitization uh, desensitizations what is that sometimes it's called systematic desensitization means patient is gradually exposed to a phobia while engaging in learning and relapse techniques is called desensitization is a form of behavioral therapy by which exposure to increase so what is the phobia what you the problem is a phobia so i have to face the problem and problem will be opportunities increasing increment of stimuli with increasing level of relaxation helps to reduce intensity of fear to a more tolerable level aversion therapy aversion therapy means negative stimuli is paired with an unwanted behavior to create a repulsion to the behavior example of aversion therapy like the um, example called a maintenance of medication for alcohol abuse make the patient feel very sick if they ingest alcohol it's called avulsion therapy negative stimuli right let me read it therapy is a form of behavioral therapy by which negative reinforcement is used to change behavior or example a stimuli attractive to the client is paired with an unpleasant events in hopes 
of undoing the stimuli with negative properties, thereby uh, this agonizing behavior. So I said, like disulfam, a maintaining medication for alcohol abuse, makes the patient feel very sick if they have ingested alcohol again, right? What is modeling? Modeling is a behavioral therapy in which the therapist acts as a role model for specific identified behavior so that the client learn through imitations. Let me uh, tell you, modeling means the patient learn a new behavior by imitation others. Example, therapists use a role play to demonstrate appropriate behavior for the patient, then ask the client to imitate the behavior. This is called modeling. Now, let me talk about a little bit more about cognitive therapy. So cognitive therapy, an active, directive, time-limited, structured approach used to treat a variety of disorder, including anxiety and depressive disorder. It is based on principle that how individual feel and behavior is determined by how they think about the world and their place in it. Their con uh, cognitions are based on attitude or assumptions developed from previous experiences. The therapeutic techniques are de uh, designed to identify, reality test, and correct distorted conceptualizations and dysfunctional belief underlying these cognitions. The therapist helps the individual to change the way he or she thinks and therefore reducing the symptom, right? So cognitive therapy, it is the therapy aimed at modifying the patient pattern of thinking and behavior, right? So what are the indication of cognitive therapy? So, Cognitive therapy we can use for the patient who have a depression, anxiety disorder, substance abuse disorder, eating disorder, personality disorder. We also emphasize emphasis aimed at addressing the change, means autonomic thought change, cognitive distortion and underlying belief. So cognitive therapy, autonomic thoughts means the immediate or distorted thought a patient may have when interpreting the events. Cognitive distortion means error in logical thinking, that is um, catastrophizing is called. And underlying belief means core belief about the self and the world. That is, I am incapable of love or I am a failure. Failure means the total concept of thinking you have try to change, right? And cognitive, the basically the cognitive therapy, there are particular goals like help to replace the negative thought. Like I said, um, 
I am the failure, right? So you, you have to change my thinking attitude. It is important what think what you are going to think. Help to replace the negative or distorted thought with positive or rational one may include the use of for reco uh, recording. Mm -hmm. Or it is good writing down and examining associations between situation, thought, and feelings. It's helpful, basically. So, um, next go, group development and group therapy. Group therapy involve a therapist and ideally five to eight member working on his or her individual goals within the context of go, which is presently increase the opportunities for feedback and support. Group individual and group therapy involve superficial rather than open and trusting communication member become with one another and such for similarities among themselves. Member may be unclear about the purpose and goals of group, group norms, roles, responsibilities are established and the work of terminations begins and is expanded upon throughout the duration of group. Here are some examples. Type of therapy for care, self-help or support group, adults, children, or alcoholics, alcohol enormous, cancer support group, then gramblers enormous, group to help deal with caring, group to help deal with unexpected body image change, right? And mental illness support group, narcotic enormous, overeating or eating behavior, parents without partners, and recovery groups, also smoking cessation groups. Group development and group therapy working in a group. The real work group is accomplished. Member are family with one another, the group leader and the group goals. And uh, with one another group leader, group groups, and also both conflict, conflict, right? So um, let me uh, tell you something more about this uh, group therapy. What are the phases of group therapy? Basically, group therapy, the therapy we carry out for a group and setting that provide our members with socialization, support, and or education. So if NCLEX board asks, what are the different um, steps of group, like working working in a group before working we go for orientation then working then termination right so first of all i said orientation in case of group therapy facilitate introduction define purposes of the group discussion and role and confidentiality everything go in orientation. In working in a group or working phase, like phase during which most of the work of therapy is accomplished, leader reinforces the group as needed and help to 
resolve the conflict. Next, the real worker, I already read it, go next here, the termination of the group means the end of the group therapy may be viewed by a loss or can bring about feelings of grief. So termination of the group begins with initial meeting, a question and play products like this. The termination starts from where or when, begin the initial meeting, right? Members' feelings are explored regarding their accomplishment and the impending termination of the group. The termination stage provided an opportunity for member to learn to deal more realistically or comfortably with the normal part of human experience, right? So what are the member roles? Member roles, tax role, or maintenance role, individual roles, right? It depends. So next here, group development and group therapy, self-help or support. Support groups are based on premise that individuals who have experienced a problem are able to help others who have a similar problem. And family therapy, family therapy is a specific intervention mode based on premise that the member who has the presenting symptoms will single signal the presence of problem in the interfamily. And therapists work to assist the family member to identify and expresses their thought and feelings. So this is about the, I mean, the growth therapy. We talk about the cognitive behavioral therapy also, right? 